Dear Diary, I had a sort of existential spiral today, and I wish I could pinpoint exactly why. This Monday, I up and decided to bite the bullet, go all in and declutter and deep clean the bedroom. Clean with me videos on YouTube are incredibly motivating, but it turns out not in a 100% healthy way. Man, some people have such amazing homes, such amazing lives. They can stay at home with their kids and keep their houses so spotless. I'm a slob who lives in a pigsty. So I resolved to climb out from under our stuff once and for all. Ha. Huh. Monday, so far so good. Tuesday, the rest of the house is slipping, but I'm making progress in the bedroom. Wednesday, I'm taking the night off for Bible study, but looking ahead at the rest of the week, it looks doable, but I'm starting to despair of being able to keep things tidy. Oh, and I've been exhausted lately. So while I conmari my bedroom in a week, I'm also giving myself a strict bedtime. I love it, but now I'm freaking out that I effectively only have one hour of free time per day, and it's so unfair that other people don't have a clicky eight-month-old who refuses to be set down. Oh, and I'm filming the whole thing, and I keep thinking of video ideas, and they're buzzing around my head, and I feel like I owe each idea its own video, and each one needs to be made, like, now. And my heart starts to race, and my breathing gets labored, and I'm a failure, and I'll never have the life I want because I have too many obligations already. I never get like this, do I? Everything I'm experiencing today is emotion driven and emotions have this way of convincing you they've always been this way and always will be. I really badly need a brain dump and I really badly needed this journal time. I am going to be okay. I can still finish deep cleaning the bedroom, but I'm going to take a week off before tidying the next room. I can't still handle the obligations I've set for myself, but I'll consider cutting some of them in a little while if they still feel overwhelming. But one thing's for sure, I'm going to stop binge watching Clean With Me videos. Dear Diary, you need to get over yourself, Rebecca. You're turning productivity into its own goal and it's bringing you nothing but frustration. You need to take last night and use it as a lesson instead of something to beat yourself up with. So you're feeling motivated to clean out the baby's room. Wonderful. You made plans to work on it between coming home and dinner time. Fantastic. You split up the work into ambitious yet manageable chunks. Great. You know from experience that making your goals explicit and concrete makes you more likely to get them done. But what you should have also figured out by now is that it makes you more likely to beat yourself up for it if it doesn't get done on your arbitrary schedule. And you know what else you forgot? The grocery shopping. Yeah, that takes time. So last night could have gone according to plan and you could have had a tidy closet in the nursery. But instead, you made a healthy family dinner and provided vegetables for Agnes's lunch. The cleaning is important, but it's not on a strict timetable like you think it is. I know you feel impatient for the house to feel clean, but it will still be there when you find that free minute. You can only work on cleaning the nursery while the baby is awake. And right now, that's a good thing because this week you need to spend your evenings focusing on you.